Hello and welcome to your 18th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to learn how to make a simple map using static meshes. So first up let's just open up our content browser and let's just drag in the stuff that we want to use. So I've decided I want these walls, I've done a search for wall and, and take static meshes. So I wanted that and for our flooring I'm just going to use a, uh, a CSG um, brush for our actual building floor but I decided I really like this little walkway so I want to use this as well so let's just drag that in and you'll see where I'm going with this in a minute let's just show our builder brush and I'm going to set mine to 1024 by 1024 by 64 and let's just CSG add that and then we're not going to be using our builder brush again oops accident hit W there so let's just uh, position everything probably best to use our oh, nice viewports since they do a brilliant job of showing us where we need to put everything I guess we'll make it a tiny little step up to get on the platform that shouldn't really matter too much and where's the center of this thing there I guess that looks about right. So now we're just going to use our alt trick. So we just hold alt and translate it this way because we want to make the bridge a little bit longer. And again, let's just do this three times. So that should do the job. So we have a nice little bridge leading up to, or walkway rather, leading up to our big room. So let's go ahead and texture the floor of our big room. Just go ahead, content browser. Let's go to our materials. Oops, I've got all these filters set. And I'm going to go ahead and use this red stony like thing for the floor. Now that is way too small, so let's just go to surface properties. And I decided that four times scaling up looked pretty decent. So I think it looks pretty good, even though it isn't the best uh, material for the floor, but it should do the job. And I guess we should probably set material for this side as well, otherwise the user's going to be seeing this. Uh, white and purple checkerboard as they're walking up the walkway so let's go for some kind of stone and tick materials well that's poor um, let's look for any wall texture you'll do the job so I'm just going to use this concrete one and that looks okay I guess yeah, let's leave it like that. So, next we're going to get the wall mesh that I placed in a little bit earlier. And I'm just going to position this. Oops. And I'm going to do the back wall first. And bring it all the way down. And bring it up here. And once again, we're going to use our alt trick just to multiply this. Just a note, by the way, if you put in multiple static meshes, your it doesn't particularly create a strain on your um, GPU or your graphics uh, processing unit, so your graphics card, because basically it only has to load the mesh once, so no matter how many times you put the mesh in, it isn't really going to create that much of a strain. So let's just select all these. And you can use the alt trick with groups, by the way. I'm not sure if I've shown you uh, doing this before how to do this before but again it's just hold alt and drag it up and it should just copy the whole lot that should be okay cool let's just select the whole lot and do the alt trick with a rotate and let's just rotate it 90 degrees and then let's just translate it to fit our different walls just doesn't seem right what's happening here. I think I may have rotated that in the wrong direction. Let's just undo that. Yeah, I did. I rotated it in the wrong viewport. Whoops. Too busy talking. Okay, cool. That should be a bit better. Okay, now let's just position that. 
and that all seems okay. Let's just use the alt trick to copy that whole group to this other wall. Cool, so we have this so far. And I guess we should put some over here as well, so let's just... Oops. Let's use these ones, and just use the alt trick to push these over to our front wall. Okay, it's looking pretty good generally. So we go in from our walkway and we go into our cool looking building. So let's go ahead and just add some lighting because if we go into lit mode, this is all black. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a static mesh of a wall mounted light and then we're just going to shove a point light outside of it so it makes it appear as if the light is coming from static mesh. So again, content browser, all assets and clear this out. Static meshes, uh, I guess search for light, and I guess this one will do the job. Drag him in. Oh, that must be tiny. Oh, that's just below my floor. That is pretty small. Let's scale this up four times. That's about right. Oops. And let's just bring it. And let's rotate it 180. It's not the correct rotation. That's the one. And just make sure it's shoved up right against the wall. One more. Come on. There we go. So now let's actually do the magic of adding a. In fact, let's just put it slightly higher up first before we do that. Maybe here -ish. A little bit high. Actually, no, maybe a little bit lower. I prefer it back where it was. Okay, and now let's right click. Let's. Where are we? Add actor. Add light. And it goes into lit mode. Just drag it out from the static mesh because it'll put it in there by default. Now, if you keep the light inside the static mesh, it'll cast some kind of weird shadow. So, look, if I put it right in there, then it kind of screws things up a little bit. So, just put it just outside. The user's never going to tell the difference anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just put it distance wherever you think it's going to look decent. I think that's about right. And while we're here, let's just make sure the radius is what we want. So, well, that's way too big by the seams of it. I always like there being a bit of darkness in the room, so um, that, if not a bit lower, really. Maybe that, we can change it later if we need to. Now, I'll select the static mesh and the light. Change to our translate. And once again, we can just use our alt trick to duplicate this. And we'll have one here. And then this outside's way too dark, so let's also duplicate this out here might do a little bit of moving, is that just too, um, too far? let's go to unlit yeah, it's kind of fitting half on the wall not too much of a problem, just get a little shift there we go and again, same with the other one over here Shift it over here. There we go. And we'll just zoom in and shift it up one. Yeah, that's right. Switch back to lit mode to see how our lighting's doing. Possibly a little bit too unlit. Yeah, there's way too much darkness here. So let me just scale up our light. And again, I should really probably make this one again so it's exactly the same as this one, but it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Oh man, still that there. Do it again. More. How much more do you want from me? Come on. I guess I should probably have put, um, maybe duplicate with these lights onto the walls to fix that, but it doesn't really matter. Oops, what have I pressed there? And, I don't know, I kind of like this fading off into darkness, even though we've kind of missed one whole static mesh, so, 
yeah, I, I made it a bit too small. It's not much of an issue, though. That'll do the job. So, let's just go ahead, and I'm just going to cut to when I finish building everything. So, I'm just going to click build all up here, because it usually takes some time. Okay, and we're done, so let's just go ahead and play the level from here. Okay, look behind us and we see trails off into darkness. So, again, we can walk in. Everything's working okay. These walls are perhaps a little bit too high. That's not too much of an issue. And I think these lights are probably a bit too big as well. Scaling them up four times might have been a bit big. Can't even jump above the lights, so maybe they're positioned a bit too high as well. But the point is, this was simply just an example to show you we can make a mesh blah, 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 to show you we can make maps from static meshes, and obviously we also use CSG for this floor area. So we're probably going to be using this in future tutorials as a base to add stuff on as well. So that's the end of this tutorial, and have a nice day.